Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining, and let me get this switched over real quick. So we're going to be going over today how to make your way around the Binance browser version. And um, if you have already looked at the other video, the client, I would recommend watching that one first. Um, however, you'll get the same information either way. So you may already notice some uh, visual differences. Now I'm going to tell you, I'm, I'm going to assume that you're going to get the most the most information um, from the client. I don't feel like I need to cover exactly what every single thing means as in depth twice uh, in both of them. So uh, I will assume that you're going to start with a client if you need to learn all of the basics about what these different things mean. And uh, specifically, the browser is more robust in some ways and less in others. So there's going to be a third video that is a comparison video, and hopefully I will be able to cover everything that needs to be done there. So <laughs> it's, it's tough not to just immediately jump into covering the uh, comparisons. Um, one thing that I will go ahead and um, start with is that if you left mouse click, you'll notice this very thin ring of yellow around our chart uh, view. Um, when it's on, you can use your mouse scroll to basically zoom in and zoom out. Uh, it lets you to see details very clearly, big and clear and robust. That's one of my favorite things about the browser version. And when you click, you have to kind of click close to the edge there. Um, now when you scroll, it doesn't do anything. So you want to lock it into position and not mess with it by accident. You can do that and then, you know, it'll stay at that zoomed level. So this is your original view. There's a website called TradingView. A lot of people uh, on Binance and not on Binance, in fact, people that do stocks and stuff too, uh, use TradingView website uh, for their charts. So you can actually pull that right into the Binance window if you prefer to use Trading View for all of your chart stuff. And that gives you um, lots of different formatting features. Um, and it just generally, you know, it's the same information, but it looks a little bit different. And some people have their setups, you know, exactly the way they want in Trading View, and they prefer that. Um, nothing wrong with that at all. Um, I am just really plugged into the way that things look on Binance, so I like working that way. Um, over here we have depth, and I went over what depth is in the client. Um, so I'm just showing that this is how you get to it again. You can zoom in and zoom out, and you can also do this. Wow, huh? So you can see nothing but if, you, if that's what you gotta do. Um, very, very useful, very helpful. Um, <laughs> I'm going to cover that in a comparison. I'm going to make myself do it that way. So here's your order book, and it's a set side size. It's configured this way. Um, you have the same ability to change the number of decimals uh, that are being shown. In fact, hey, check that out. You can see those are some of our positions that we are looking forward to clear. Um, or we bought the dip really well here in Phoenix Coin, so I'm pretty happy about that. Um, so you have your buys your cells, and the current value. And uh, just like the um, client, you can click the positions that you see here. If you need to get to more of them, you can switch to just see the buys or just see the cells. And you can just as easily click that. Um, one of the massive, well, I'll go ahead. This is your limit order, market order, stop limit. No, I'm not gonna teach about how to use a stop limit because we're going to do everything as limit orders. Plain and simple. There may be some extreme examples somewhere, sometime, where we're going to just jump in with the market. Um, but um, those are really extreme scenarios. Only had to do it like maybe five times in the past 14 months. So right here is our trade history. And this is just going to show you every time something sells, um, it'll show up with a timestamp. And this is moving a little bit slower than what would show you that. But um, once again, in the client view, um, I showed you how that looks over there. So 
one of the major differences here, okay, you know, compare video. I'm going to try to say it for that. Um, we have our buys over here and our sells over here. You do not switch back and forth. Um, and therefore, there's not another button that looks like either of these to switch back and forth with. So you're going to put in your buy. You're going to choose your amount. And like in this case, let's say I wanted to buy at 233 and 25% um, of whatever I have. Or I can enter the number here. Um, I do not believe with this one. Is this the one that I can and the other one I can't? Yeah, okay, you can enter the total here as well. That's a big deal. Um, so let's say you've already got something in. You can come over here and choose your number and say, I want to sell at 240. And boom, you can decide how much you want to sell at 240. So that's how that works. Over here, you have your open orders. Um, we have ours spread out over many, many, many different positions. And I usually, if I'm watching that uh, current one at that time, I might consolidate them. Instead of selling at, um, you know, 262, 64, 65, uh, I might cancel, 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 and sell all of them at 266. So, um, but uh, you know, even if these were actually 115 unique orders out of 12,000, um, these are the only ones that we have a huddle on. So, pretty happy about that. And these are going to come around. Let's just see, visualizing where we are on Phoenix. Um, yeah, it's not going to be a long time. Some really good positions. So this was the start of the year. We have it up at about 290. It spiked in the 280s, 270s. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy about the movement that's coming up. Um, this one will give us some money back pretty soon. So that'll be nice. I actually think that one of them may have sold before I started this video. So pretty cool. Um, so up here we have our pairings. So in a different place than what we see in the client. Um, USDS gives us all of our stable coins and what you can trade against them. And you can click the star to add something to your favorites list, which is right here. Um, that's, again, a different process. Um, you can switch back and forth your 24-hour volume, 24-hour change. The last price is a, I believe that's the one that is a different feature. Um, yes, you have the ability to, um, it's a little bit easier for me to follow it from over here. Okay, so like this is the lowest value coin that exists on the market right now compared to Bitcoin. And I can see, you know, this would be 10 cents, this would be a penny. This will be a fraction of a penny. This is a fraction of a fraction of a penny. Um, the only thing that would be smaller is if it was just this and not both of these. So usually we don't even start to trade for things that we could resolve in a day or two um, without it being at least in this decimal position. So out of eight, I believe that's five. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's actually six. Six, seven, eight. Yes. A little bit of math. Not going to hurt. So you can change last price from the lowest to the highest or the highest to the lowest. So like right now, um, Bitcoin Cash ABC is the highest value trading against Bitcoin. Ethereum is the second. In fact, this is a um, interesting change from that. Let me see what the 24 hour volume looks like. Uh, 9,000 for BNB, 7,000 for Litecoin, 5,000 for Ethereum, 3,000 for XRP. These things change so much every day, it's amazing. So that's the main way that you get around over there. Um, obviously, this is where you log out of your account. Um, you can change your language over here. Watch your language. Um, this right here is going to um, get you to all of your account information. And I'm going to cover that separately because I'm going to like give you a tour of the actual Binance website separate from the trading perspective. Um, so over here, we have our timeline. And uh, in the client you know, this has a different look to it, but um, in fact, it's a terrible representation because that's such a low value coin. Let me choose something a little bit less ridiculous. Uh, we have a lot of ion that we're going to try to sell soon. In fact, it's starting to come around, so I'm happy about that. But you can see this shows your basic movement of the coin, but we like to come over here and at least start at a one minute. And right now, we have our indicators on MACD and moving average. I don't like using moving average. So I'm going to do MACD at the bottom, and I'm going to use Bollinger Bands in addition to that. And we'll go over how all this stuff works. And it automatically gives you volume here. 
um, and you you can see this little tool right here. Um, you can delete it. Um, other things will allow you to change um, the. This is like changing the number of days that you're looking at the average from, and um, it's you know just it's helpful to be able to adjust this stuff if you like doing that. Um, this is a lot easier to find. Um, just where this stuff is. This lets you change the color of the bands. It'll automatically do it for you if you don't choose it, but that was a lot easier to do than it was in the client version as well. So tools, this is how you draw all over this stuff, and I prefer this too. Um, like if we want to set up our Fibonacci line, um, is just as easy for me to clear it. Um, I found that difficult to do in the client. Um, so up at here, up here at the top, last price, literally that's what's going on here. It's resolving the order book between the buys and the sells. Um, and this is what it's worth in dollars. So that's, you know, same information we have here. 24 hour change, it's down not quite 4%. Um, it's been as high as 339, as low as 312. And its current 24 hour volume is about at 172, 172 bitcoins. And, you know, we've gone over our pairings. I believe that this is everything we need to know. Here's your current amount of Bitcoin. So that's how much you're allowed to choose to purchase. And just to show you kind of how this looks, I'm going to put in a low position so it doesn't actually go through. This will be about $250 in Bitcoin world if one were worth 10000 Just converting mentally to think in terms of Bitcoin and not in terms of dollars. So these decimals mean, you know, one will be a whole Bitcoin. This will be a tenth of one. So if that was $10,000 for a single Bitcoin, then this will be a thousand, one hundred, tens, ones, pennies, and then the rest don't matter. Uh -huh. So just pretending that I put in 311, I want to put in about 250 on uh, 311 ion. I'll click buy and it jumps over here. It's a limit order and obviously it's too low for it to fill right now, um, but it shows that I now have 250 less than what I'm allowing to circulate. And if I cancel, um, Keep your eyes right here when I cancel this order. Boom. Okay, now I showed you this in the other place. It's even more important, even more important in the browser. When you come down to cancel an order or come over here in general, look how easy it is for that to get in the way. You click that and you're going to have to remember every, in, in our case, I've spread this out over 115 and this probably represents about 35 total, uh, which means we're somewhere at a 99.7% accuracy right now. Um, but those are pretty big positions too, so it, it's going to free up a lot of our circulation. But I have a lot set aside, so I'm only allowing myself to touch, you know, like basically $1,000 worth of $10,000 Bitcoin if we were doing it based on dollars right now. Um, a tenth of a Bitcoin is all I'm trying to circulate right this second. And if I were trying to keep up with where my orders are, I couldn't possibly tell you where some of these were supposed to sell without going in. And since I've done thousands of positions, it would be like um, days of forensics to try to get my positions right and not lose a whole bunch of money. So terrible, terrible feature to have it that close to something that you need to do. So do not ever run over here to cancel something without making sure that that's not highlighted. It's just a terrible, terrible feature. Terrible place to put a feature. Important feature, I'm sure, for somebody somewhere. Not us. So this amount of Bitcoin in... When you go to sell ion, this will be your amount of ion. You simply set the price that you want to sell it at. Obviously, you would want it to be higher than, you know, where you, let's say you bought here at 323 and sold it at 332. Wow, it's actually picking up a little bit of uh, speed here. So isn't that interesting? Um, if you are, well, nobody's actually watching this live, so um, I cannot give you a tip on this. Sorry. Um, but hey, I'll just throw one in for a longer term if you want. So today is uh, February 9th, 2019, and we're currently at 327. And if you wanted to put in, it is definitely going to clear in the 340s at some point in time. But I'm not a professional financial advisor, so this is just for entertainment. Um, do your own homework. Do your own research. You take your own risks. Um, we're not to blame. Um, but uh, you can praise us if we're right. <laughs> How does that work? Super. Okay, so fantastic. I hope that this helps. Um, if there's anything that I didn't cover, let me know. If you have any questions, let me know. Oh, yeah, this is your timeline down here. Um, I think that that's kind of self-explanatory, but obviously you see a lot of different information if you're zoomed way in. 
And guys, that's about it. We're going to do separate videos for all of the different indicators. And um, the next one I believe I'm going to work on is the comparison of the two, the browser and the client versions of Binance. Um, please come and join us. Start trading with Archangel Alts. We are excited to get the ball rolling on this stuff. It's going to be an unbelievably exciting year. There's a lot of work to do and there's a lot of learning to do. So we'll be ready for the bull run together. So make sure and click the link in the video to register for Binance. Come join us. Come join us. Come join us. All right. God bless you guys. And I will see you in the next video.